Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Blue Monday by New Order. And it starts out with a really cool disco kind of bass line. And one way to play that on the guitar would be going low E on the first fret, and then going to third fret on the D string. And we're going to end up doing that two times. So we're going low E on the first fret, third fret on the D, low E on the, on the first, D string on the third. And then we're going to take that shape that we're playing, actually, which is something called an octave shape, and we're going to move that to the 3rd fret on the A string to the 5th fret to the G string. And we're going to play that twice. And then we're going to take that lick and then move it over 2 frets to 5th fret and 7th fret. Which we're kind of doing a D note and do that 4 times. So we got F twice, C twice, D 4 times. And then we're going to take that same shape and kind of move to low E on the 3rd to 5th fret on the D string and do that twice. String again on the third fret to do the A string third to the fifth fret on the G twice, and then we're going to move it back to the fifth fret on the A string to the seventh fret on the G string four times. So all together we got F C D G C D, which can be a really cool way to kind of intro the tune. And then from there, you could actually use one strum pattern through the rest of the tune to kind of cover it. And we're going to start on an F major chord. And we'll talk about a really easy way to do this. But if you know the full bar F major, you do your first finger across the whole first fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A string on the third fret. And the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, you can actually do something called an F major 7 as a substitute for that chord. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that's called F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F around the C notes, we're going to be playing a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to go to a D minor chord. The way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third or fourth finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D to G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that'll get you your clear sound, and that's called D minor. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor, we're going to go into a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E on the third fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to go into a C major chord, and then going back to the D minor chord. So we got F, C, D minor. G major, C major, D minor, for almost our entire tune. But one thing that I like to add to a song like this to, to kind of make it a little bit more interesting is something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the F and just tried that a lot, you have down, down, down up. through our, our chord progression for our verse and our chorus, we're actually kind of halving the F and C and then doing the whole strum pattern on D minor and then we're halving the G and C and then going back to D minor with our whole strum pattern. So one way to do that is to do a down, down, up on all our chords we're halving. So you can take the F and go down, down, C, down, down, up, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, C, down, want to make it a little bit more interesting, what you could do is you could half the F and the C with the down, down, up, up, down, up. So what I mean by that is to take the F and do the down, down, up, and then go to the C for the up, down, up, the So you'd have F down, down, up, C, up, down, D minor, down. Be kind of 
kind of interesting. It might play a little bit against the tune, but I kind of like that that too. So we could, if we tried it that way, we'd have F with a down, down, C on up, up, down, a D minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, C on up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, C on up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, C on up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, C on up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, C on up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you may want to try that too. And something else that I, I like to add to a, to, to a song like this too is bass notes. And one way you can do that is taking the first down of the down, down, up, or up, of down, up, and playing the, the root note for that chord or playing the lowest note on the guitar with the name of the chord. So for instance, on the F, if you're doing the F major 7, you'd be doing the D string because that's the lowest F that you're playing in the chord. So you got D bass down, up, up, down, up, down up with the D bass down, up, up, down, up. Or if you're doing the F major bar, you'd be doing the low E for your bass bass. Down, up. We only have enough time to do a bass down up on those chords. So you can do the F with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up D minor with a bass, down up, up, down G with the Louis bass, down up C with an A bass, down up D minor with a B bass, down up, up, down up with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up D minor with a D bass, down up, up, down G with the Louis bass, down up C with an A bass, down up D minor with a D bass, down up, up, down up with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up D minor with a D bass, down up, up, down G with the Louis bass, down up. something else you want to kind of try to kind of work through the tune. Now there are a lot of really cool licks through this too and some of them are guitar licks and some of them are keyboard licks but just to go over a couple of those um, too like if you, if you start on the D string you kind of play the open D a lot and then go to third foot on the A and then open D that's kind of your first guitar lick like through the tune so you got D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D C D but then we go to third fret on the D to kind of play that a lot, and then go open G, and then open D, and then third on the A, and then open D. So you got three, 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 oh, oh, three, oh. And then there are also some really cool keyboard licks that kind of come in right after that, where you could play play just those single notes by going high on the first fret, and then first fret on the B string, and then third fret on the B string. And then we go high on the third fret, and then first fret on the B, and then third fret on, on the B string. And what we're really kind of doing there is kind of playing the notes that are the names of the chords. We're going F, C, D, G, C, D. And then there's a cool little keyboard part that comes after that where you go fifth fret on the high E, and then uh, fifth fret on the B string, and then sixth fret on the B string. So you got five, five, six on the B. And then you kind of come back, fifth on the high E, fifth on the B string, and then seventh fret on the G. So you got five, five, six, five, five, seven. And then there's another guitar lick that kind of comes in later on where you play second fret on the G twice, and then open B twice, and then second fret on the G twice, and then open B, and then second on the G, and then open B, and then first fret on the B. So you got Two two oh two two oh two two oh oh one. But then we go to third fret on the B, and then first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G, and then open G, and then back to second fret on the G. So we're going D D D C C C A A A G A on the end of that line. So all together you got A A B B A A B B A A B B C D D D. And 
there's another keyboard lick that comes in later on where you've got 8th fret on the high E, and then 7th fret on the high E, and then 5th on the high E, and then 7th on the high E, and then back to 5th on the high E, and then 6th on the B. So you got A, 7, 5, 7, 5, 6. So you're playing C, B, A, B, A, F. And then we kind of go back to the high E, A, 7, 5, 7, 5, and then kind of slide to 12th fret. So I'm kind of pressing in and kind of getting the note to, to sound all the way up. So all together you got C, B, A, B, A, F. C, B, A, B, A, E. It's kind of a slide. And then later on, there's kind of an open D string, and then third fret on the A, and then open A, and then third fret on the A is kind of a slide to fifth fret. And then we go to second on the G, and then third fret on the D. So we got open, open, three, three, oh, three, five, slide, two, three. And then we kind of come back, three, oh, two on the G, and then third fret on the D, and then open D. So we're kind of playing C, D, A, F, D on the last part of that. So all together you got open D twice, third on the A, open A, three, five, slide on the A, second fret on the G, third fret on the D, third on the A, open D, two, three, O. <laughs> so you're going D, D, C, C, A, C, D, A, F, C, D, A, F, D. It's kind of another lick you might want to throw in too if you're doing more of the lead stuff. But for the most part, you can just kind of follow that one strum pattern through the entire tune to kind of cover it out. And there are a couple breaks where you may want to just do a down on it or even kind of throw in some percussion for some of the snare solos. But a uh, very cool tune. But uh, that's the basis of how you could strum through Blue Monday by New Order. So good luck!